had to forgive her if you want and move on in my life or else that was going to take you down. You have to leave that go. You can't, you can't carry that baggage. And my life has moved on. It's great. I mean, I get up every day just saying, are you kidding me? Look at the life I've lived. I focus on now and the future. Well, we're here on the campus of the University of Houston, and this is our new track. They just, they just made it this year and uh, resurfaced it, and we're excited about it. And all the activity that we do for track and field happens here. This is our athletic alumni hall. This is a statue that, that they made of me for me to be a track athlete right here in the, the Athletic Hall of Honor is a big honor. It's the four gold medals from Los Angeles, and they were actually there. I took them with me to, to get the full body scan. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, since I retired, I've been a Nike ambassador. I'm still a UN ambassador. And my youth track club, CL Stars, has grown. Come on, Ricky, finish it out, finish it out. Come on, finish it. Stay tall. Stay tall. Yes, I'm going to Rio, and I'm going to have one a million hats. I'm going to do a round table every night for Brazilian television, which is going to be a lot of fun. All right, okay. All right, good job. <laughs> I love to garden. I love to eat the plants and vegetables that I grow. I moved to Houston. I, I bought a an old home, a 1936 home that I'm in the process of a long-term modeling. Well, my mother um, is 86 years old, and she's doing quite well. Um, she doesn't move around as fast as she used to, but she still has her wit. And, and, and basically, I've been her main caregiver for the last few years. My son, by Kim, he's grown up to be a great young man, and, and I'm really proud of him. He represents our country. He's in the U.S. Army. You know, we we ran we were in sports, and we just ran around the world. Something we enjoyed. We put USA on our chest. Well, he puts USA on his back, and that's something I'm very proud of him for doing. And he and his wife are pregnant, so I'll have a grandchild soon. Yes, we are having a little girl. Um, her name is Sapphire. Well, when I when I first heard that I was gonna be a grandfather, it, it I was like, no, I'm not old enough. <laughs> but it is pretty exciting. I'm gonna be the biggest teddy bear grandpa to spoil her all the time but we're going to be serious at the end of the day because it's really exciting is that you know my granddaughter can be in a world where she has a great chance to see a female president isn't that amazing I, what, what i've learned is that we have to teach people to be more than themselves i wish i wasn't so selfish when i was young and a lot of that's just maturity but if, if you can find a way to convey that message to young people then then that means the world will be better because it really isn't about you. It's about the people around you that really matter. Coming up, they just.